Hi, I'm Erica. Hi, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Jake. Uh, We're here to talk to you about... Bag milk. Are you one of those people that buy glass jugs of milk because you think paper and plastic are bad for the environment? And guess what? You're wrong. And you know what? If you buy plastic and paper jugs also, you're also wrong. Because what you should be buying is bag milk. It's bag milk. The material weight of a liter sized glass jug is 410 grams. The weight of a paper carton is 57 grams. The weight of a plastic carton is 51 grams. And the weight of a plastic bag is 3.6 grams. Knowing the weight of each container without milk, we found the grams of CO2 per gram of material and calculated the total CO2 emissions for production per container. So for glass, we found that it's 0.559 grams of CO2 per gram of material which equals 229 total CO2 emissions. For, for paper, we found that it's 0 0.136 grams of CO2 per gram of material, which equals 8 total CO2 grams for production. For plastic, it's 1.478 grams of CO2 per gram of material which equals 75 grams of CO2 total. For the bag, it's 6 grams of CO2 per gram of material, which equals 21 grams of CO2 per production. The next step was to calculate the CO2 emissions from the transportation of each container. We arbitrarily chose 100 kilometers as the distance from farm to store and found that a truck emits 242 grams of CO2 per ton per kilometer. Therefore, to calculate the total emissions per container, we added the material to the mass of one liter of milk, which is 1,030 grams. We then multiply by the emissions of the truck per ton per kilometer, and multiply that by 100 kilometers. To finish, we then did some unit conversions. We did this process for each container and got our results. Yeah. Total CO2 for various containers for shipping, plus the milk inside of them, 35 grams for the glass bottle, 26 grams of CO2 from the paper jug, 26 grams of CO2 from the plastic jug and 25 grams of CO2 from the milk bag. So that gives us total CO2 of 264 grams for the glass jug, 34 grams for the paper carton, 101 grams for the plastic bottle, and 46 grams for the plastic milk bag. So even though CO2 production for the plastic bag isn't the lowest as it should be or could be, it is significantly lower than the glass, both the glass and the plastic bottles. And not only that, there is less material involved. It is cheaper to make, 100% recyclable as compared to the paper carton. And it is not only easier to transport, but you can also transport more at one time.